So um, we are ever so pleased, you know, to uh, welcome you to the very first event of the online workshop series, Open Borders for Adivasi and Dalit Literature and Performing Arts. My name is Nicole Thiara, for those of you who don't know me. I am the co-director of the Post-Colonial Studies Centre here at Nottingham Trent University, and I am one of the conveners of the research network Writing, Analyzing, Translating Dalit Literature, which I started with Judith Misrahi Barak in 2014. The study of Dalit literature had very little visibility at the time in Europe, and we therefore created this research network and hosted six conferences in the UK, in France, and in India between 2014 and 2016, which was a wonderful and, and very enriching experience. And you know, that's why we wanted, we knew that we wanted to continue. So we were fortunate enough to get some follow on funding from the HRC to coordinate, to co organize events that celebrated Dalit and Adivasi literature and performing arts more widely. And we had just completed the first series of events in Paris when Europe was hit by the first wave of the pandemic in March. So we therefore had to postpone the remaining events and we hope that we can hold them next year instead. This series of online seminars and workshops seeks to continue our work in the only form that seems currently possible, namely online. And we are so very, very grateful to the writers and performers Raju Das and Namita Das, and uh, also, of course, their translator and the moderator, Dr. Runa Chakraborty Pangskis, for launching this particular series. The title of today's event is Breaking Barriers, a conversation with two Bengali Dalit writers, and I think we are in for a treat. I personally really cannot wait, and I therefore want to keep this very brief. But I also just want to thank my co-conveners of today's events, Marina Rimsha from the India Indonesia Programme at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, and of course, Yutmis Rahi Barak from the Research Centre Emma at the University Paul Valéry in Montpellier 3, who is going to say a few words next. Well, just just a few words. I mean, it's a great pleasure to be uh, to be online with you. And of course, the the irony uh, is not lost on us because in the in our attempts, in fact, to keep the the network uh, alive and to keep in touch. I mean, literally, politically, in all meanings of the of the words, we ended up with those you know out of touch <laughs> seminar. I mean, those uh, digital uh, medium. But still, I mean, being able to connect with a lot of people uh, across across the world, I mean, literally, uh, Israel, India, France, Germany, yes. Lithuania, uh, the UK, and uh, and so on, probably the US as well. So it's a great uh, it's a great pleasure. So uh, this is indeed the first webinar, the first um, I don't want to call it a seminar. I mean, it truly started as a conversation. And in fact, the origin, I mean, it all started from um, a conversation with Marina, who was hosting for her university and her research center. She was hosting online. It was a, a seminar online. Uh, the writer, Ajay Navaria, who had also come to our um, events, I mean, the first time when we got the HRC funding. And so out of that conversation, uh, Marina suggested that we should develop, in fact, the idea of those uh, webinars and seminars online. And so it's once again, I mean, I'm convinced that, you know, some of the, the most interesting events happen out of conversations uh, with people and, and with, you know, the interaction and the friendship, of course. Uh, and so this is how the, the format came about in our conversations. And uh, if you want to have a look at the, at the three different formats of, the, of those webinars, you can definitely have a look at the, uh, at the website. So it's, go it's truly going to be, you know, conversations. It's not papers. It's not, um, you know, it's not that format, but truly a conversations.